Hi, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to take your SketchUp model and break it up into smaller files using external references. Now there are a few different reasons as to why you would want to do this, one of them being collaboration. So let's say you're working on this project here. Uh, we have two major uh, parts of this model. We have a barn and a silo. And imagine that you have a team member um, who's working on this project with you and they want to work on this silo while you continue working on the barn. Now if you only have one file it's really hard to do that because you never know which version is the correct version if you're saving over other, the other person's work. So what you can actually do is within SketchUp you can right click any component and click Save As. And what this will do is we'll, it'll save that component as its own SketchUp model. Then you can have someone else on your team open that model separately and make the tweaks that they need to make while you continue to work on the main model. So you just select a file name and click save here and that will save the model as a separate file. So let's open up that file that we just saved and make a few changes to it. Okay so I just opened up the model that we saved out of our original one and I'm just gonna make a couple changes here. I will paint the alternating stripes so we have a little different color pattern there and I'll just go ahead and save that model. Now I'm gonna jump back to the original model and from here all we need to do is right click the component that we want to update select reload select the file and click open and you can see the changes that were made in the separate file of the silo are now reincorporated back into the original model. Now you don't actually have to start a file with a component already inserted into it. So if I delete this silo and wanted to insert it, I could actually go to File, click on Import, and select the file that I want to import. Now you don't, you're not limited to just using SketchUp files. You can import a number of different files. In this uh, particular example, I'm using SketchUp Pro, which gives me a, a greater range of different file types that I can import. So you'll just click open and your cursor will change to the move tool and that move tool is actually attached to the origin of the model that you're importing. Another example where you might want to use the externally referenced model is with scenes. So you can see in this model I have a number of different scenes set up um, in this case they're actually set up for layout so I created scenes ahead of time that I then import into layout for viewports but let's say I wanted to create an animated walkthrough of this house it's kind of um, cluttered since I already have a bunch of scenes up here already so what I can do is create a new file and import this house into the new file so when you act when you import a file into SketchUp, you're not going to import the scenes with it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file now. So inside this new file, I'll go to File Import. I'll select the SketchUp model that I want to import. And remember, just make sure that you have SketchUp files selected in the drop-down menu, or else they won't appear when you navigate to the folder. Then I'll click Open and again it'll um, import the the model without any scenes whatsoever so now since I'm starting from a blank slate of scenes I can add my own scenes however I want and create a SketchUp model specifically for the animation sequence that I want to export now again if I ever make any changes to the original model I can just right click this select reload and it'll reload the model um, so all of those changes are updated in this file. So those are just a couple of examples on how to use externally referenced models in your SketchUp file. And if you want to learn more, check out the link in the description on the video. 
that'll bring you right to the article I wrote on this method of using SketchUp external references. Thanks for watching.